Ready? We ready? We go? Recording. Good evening. Adequate notice for this, for this meeting has been given in accordance with the Open Public Meeting Act pursuant to the Public Laws 1975. Said notice is advertised in the Asbury Park Press and the beacon was posted on the bulletin board showing the time and place. Will everyone please rise for the pledge? <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, first one up. Hold on here. Get this right. Proclamation for the Reese Across America. Okay. There we go. All right. Whereas the Reese, Reese Across America organization was formed in 2007 as an extension of the Arlington Reese Project of 1992, where Reese were laid at the graves of fallen soldiers in Arlington National Cemetery. And whereas the mission of the Reese Across America organization is to remember the fallen, to honor those who serve their families, and teach the next generation about the value of freedom. And whereas each year this mission is carried out by the coordination of the wreath laying ceremony on a specified Saturday in December at Arlington National Cemetery, as well as the veteran cemeteries and other locations in all 50 states and beyond. And whereas in, in 2017, Jennifer Iapico and a group of individuals were traveling to Arlington National Cemetery to place wreaths on the graves of the veterans. However, a snowstorm prevented them from completing the task and the decision was made to keep it closer to home so the weather would not be a factor. And whereas, Jennifer Iapico, for each year thereafter with family and friends, would purchase wreaths for the graves at the, bridge, at the Brigadier General William C. Dole Memorial Cemetery in Wedgetown, New Jersey, where her father and closest friend were laid to rest. And whereas in 2022, Jennifer was inspired to keep it local by a friend who was placing wreaths in, at the cemetery in a neighboring town. Whereas Jennifer and her daughter were able to coordinate the wreaths across America in Good Luck Cemetery. Whereas Jennifer and her crew were tirelessly searching th through the cemetery by reading obituaries, receiving information from the public, which enabled them to find each and every veteran that was laid to rest at Good Luck Cemetery for a total of 465 veterans. And whereas the ceremony would not have been possible without the hard work of Jennifer Iapico, her volunteers, the Lacey Township Department of Public Works, Working River Fire Company, Monoka Harbor Fire Company, Murray Grove, Betworks, Elaine McGuire of the Good Luck Cemetery, Honor Guard from Weartown Alps, Lacey Township Police Department, Layton's Funeral Home, Brian Holt, Bernie Snyder, and Lindsay Subsey. Now, therefore, it be resolved that I, Timothy McDonald, Mayor of Lacey Township, do hereby recognize December 17, 2022, as Reese Across America Day in Lacey Township and call this observation to the attention of the citizens. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer, you want to come up? And whoever else you'd like to bring up with you? Oh, all of them. All of them. Yes. Well, come on up. We're going to take you back. Come on up. Go. sister, too. Get your sister. I'm not going to have to go down and get a picture because. What's up? Just. First of all, it was just my honor, just my honor to even have the privilege of you asking me to speak for my husband. That was, okay. it was just the best thing that ever happened to me that day. And, and to be with all of you that worked so hard to put this together 
boy, we we here in Lacey have so much to be proud of. Honestly, it's just to see the people pouring in to help. It just, you know, it just was amazing. And, and I just said to Jennifer the other day when I seen her, I said, I can't imagine what next year is going to be like. I can't even. I know we're already stressing about it, right? <laughs> I know. You, but you know what? It just was so. The best part about it truly was that Saturday before, the way every, you had everybody there, they did everything they were supposed you know, it just was wonderful. It was a great experience, and again, it was my honor, and I was thrilled, thrilled to see how well it turned out for all the hard work that you did with, along with your group. It really just, Thanks. God bless you all, really. Thank God you. bless you. Anybody else? Pete, sure. Go ahead, Mark. Go ahead, Mark. Sorry, sorry. Thank you so much for what you've done. I, I know that I wasn't able to attend, but I know that, that community woman. Giuliano expressed to me what a great day it was. You know, whenever Bernie Snyder is involved, not to take some, some any, 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 anything away from you, it's got to be a good course. And I know nobody got locked up. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Yeah, not yet. Would have been, but you know, I know you, you a little influence you have. But thank you so much for, for you know, one of the great things, great people that you do for this town. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, it was a remarkable day. It was uh, chilly, but there wasn't a cloud in the sky. And, you know, a lot, a lot of people might, might joke, but it's, it's the way I know that we all feel. In 19, there's a lot of people in the audience that were, you know, either uh, lost people in Vietnam or fought in Vietnam, uh, being the civilian liaison to the Veterans Commission. I'll tell you, in 1968, I was just being born. Mm -hmm. And in 1968, people in the audience that were fighting, um, you know, I was safe home in a crib. So I'm going to tell you, I love you. And I'm very, very grateful you did what you did because you stopped the spread of communism and you stopped a lot of bloodshed later on into the 70s and 80s and the Cold War. You may not think you did, but you did. So thank you for all of your sacrifices. And I, I'm just humbled to just, I'm not sitting up here, but for all of the work that you all did. God bless you and thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, yeah I just want to thank your organization for uh, Doing that, uh, it's uh, it so it makes Lacey you know, it keeps it that small town feel. Um, we're really um, you know dependent on the volunteers, uh, you know, like yourselves that do the, those things for Lacey Township. So thanks a lot. Yeah, this is uh, this is something the Reese down at, uh, down in Arlington. When I first read about it so many years ago, I said to my wife, "We got to go down there." Uh, you may or may not know, my brother didn't come over from Vietnam, and. Uh, so it's very special to me. Of course. And we couldn't do it because we had young kids and Christmas time and the whole bit. So uh, when this came about, Laura said something to me. I said, we'll be there. And it's so special. And the person that i would never forget, the wreath that I laid, and they laid the one wreath because everyone wanted to talk to me. Um, I looked down and I was shocked. It was a woman from World War I. And I was stunned. They never fought, I mean, nurses stayed in the back, the whole bit, they weren't out <coughs> fighting. Um, but this was, this was a woman who was killed in World War I, and I was absolutely stunned by it. And I, uh, from, it looks like it's gonna be an annual thing. So, very, <laughs> she, <laughs> she well, doesn't. What do we have to now? We're at 71, so it's happened. Okay. Yeah. That many people have come forward already. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I, I don't think you're gonna have a problem getting volunteers. I just don't think that's ever going to happen. No. And so it's been Lacey Township's privilege. If, you know it. what, Jennifer, you should just tell us about the site that they can go to that anybody would like to purchase. Would you like to share that information with us here? It's across America. Okay. And it's good but good but they need cemetery. to, if they want to buy them for our cemetery, it good needs luck. to put good in luck. good luck, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Okay. Because if you put friends of Good Luck Cemetery, if you buy two wreaths, they match and get oh, one okay. extra. Okay. So it's a free for two program only if you go through that sponsorship. Gotcha. I actually no, okay. created a, a separate Facebook group for it now. Mm -hmm. So I started is, sharing it so people can join and get that specific Is that website up all year to yes. buy it? Is there, yes. Does it start? Does it doesn't start? No. Do we it any time? We already got 65 wreaths for the year. Purchased already, yeah. Okay. So. I'll, um, post that, that link and stuff, I'll, I'll search it to make sure I copy and paste it so we'll have it on our website so it will be easy for them to find. Actually, 
Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank All right, you. now we got the next one. Hey, Bernie, did you want to Bernie, say something? Bernie, you want to say something? No, he wants something. Come on up. Come on up. Oh, you got to grab the mic, Bernie. You got it? You got it? actually got it right. <laughs> he knows. That's why I said that. Got to stay on a good side. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. It, it's, real, it's really, it was really, really, really touching being a veteran, a Vietnam veteran, and the other veterans are here to, to see somebody pick the ball up and run with it more That's or less right. and do what Jen did for us is just, you can't you can't describe it in words. You know, yeah. it was just outstanding. And what I'd really like to do is have Jen put on our veterans commission with us. Of course, she's a ball of fire, and I don't want to lose. <laughs> so you need somebody that's going to do all the work. Is that it? That's it. I get it. We need somebody that's going to do all the work. We'll take it. We'll take care of it. She was she was worried that it wasn't going to come. I said, just wing it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nobody knows what we're doing. If we screw it up, only we know. <laughs> and we'll fix that next year. Yeah. But it came off beautifully. It, it, it was perfect. The turnout from the, the other people in the town was outstanding. It was, uh, there was even some people there that I knew that moved out of town that came back for yes, it. Yes, I saw that. You know, mm -hmm. so it was, it was really, really nice. I don't know how, you know, a proclamation is nice, but other than that, I don't really know how to say thank you to Jen, except uh, oh, keep up the good yes. work and don't... Uh, well, wing it next year. Don't screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, hey, Bernie. Thanks, Bernie. Bernie, I'm going to do something. Do I have a nomination for, for her to be on the Veterans Committee? Yeah, yeah, make make do that I have a second? second. All right, so what, what, I'll, what I'll do is I'll prepare the resolution for the next meeting. You're on the Veterans you're Committee. You're on the Veterans Commission. <laughs> in fact, you're in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Next yeah. thing on the agenda, Fork River Presbyterian Church Easter services at Bayfront Park. Um, the Fork River Presbyterian Church would like to hold a Easter sunrise service at Bayfront Park on um, was it uh, April 9th. Um, I, they just need permission from uh, the governing body to do so. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. You want to stick around for another meeting? You're more than welcome. If not, you can. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You want the door shut? Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> Bye, thank you. You're going to announce the recreation applications? Yeah. Thank you. Jim was with me today when he called. We were in the car driving home. Yeah, we were on the way 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 home. Tom. Tom, close the door. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you're on this side, though. We just need a motion to adjourn this meeting. No. We just need a motion to adjourn this meeting. Motion to adjourn. Move it. All in favor? Aye. Adequate notice of this meeting has been given in accordance with the Open Public Meeting Act pursuant to the public laws of 1975. Said notice is advertised in the Asbury Park Press and Beacon and posted on the bulletin board showing the time and place of the meeting. Please rise for the salute to the flags and a moment of silence. Wait, is this just public work? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay.
Ready? I'm ready when you're ready. First read, first read of the ordinance 2023-04, amending the ordinance of fixing and determining salaries, wages, and compensation. In order to attach at Lacey County, Bush, the state of New Jersey, amending an, an ordinance entitled in order to attach at Lacey County, Bush, the state of New Jersey, fixing and determining salaries, wages, and compensation of the officers, employees, and members of the governing body of the township. This is to create the salary for the position of code enforcement officer trainee at an annual salary of 53000 Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. No, it's first reading. Okay. Second reading. The <coughs> ordinance 2031 01 amending chapter 323 so as to amend the section 323 21 entitled vehicles are designed for weight excluded from certain streets. In order to the Township of Lacey County, Bush, State of New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 323 of the Township Code of the Township of Lacey entitled Vehicles and Traffic so as to amend Section 323 21 entitled Vehicles Over Designated Weight Excluded from Certain Streets. We're putting uh, weight limits of uh, less than or I should say anything over four tons on Railroad Avenue between Lacey Road and Musket and Haines Street between Route 9 and Manchester. Second reading, open the floor to public comment. Any comments? She none, motion to close the floor. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion on the ordinance, please. Move it. Second. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Second reading of ordinance 20 20-23-02, amending chapter 79 so as to establish a new article XCIX entitled Secretary Board slash Commission. In order to the Township of Lacey County, Bush, the State of New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 79 of the Township Code of the Township of Lacey entitled Officers and Employees so as to establish a new article entitled Secretaries to Boards and Commissions. This is a position that we are creating. Uh, we are seeing um, a retirement and we are just uh, repurposing the title and the functions. Second. Second reading, open the floor to public comment. Any oh, comments? Sorry. sorry. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion on the ordinance. Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Second reading of ordinance 2023 03 amending. Uh, an ordinance of fixing and determining salaries, wages, and compensation. In ordinance of the Township of Lacey County, Rochester State, New Jersey, amending an ordinance entitled An Ordinance of the Township of Lacey County, Rochester State, New Jersey, affixing and determining the salaries, wages, and compensation of the officers, employees, and members of the governing body of the township. This is for that position of secretary to boards and commissions with a salary range of fifty to seventy thousand. Second reading, open the floor to public comments. Seeing so you know, no motion, close the floor. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion on the ordinance. Move it. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-73 authorizing the appointment of code enforcement officer training. Resolution in Township Lacey, County of Rochester, State of New Jersey, authorizing the appointment of Dana DeBella as the full-time code enforcement officer trainee for the Township of Lacey. This is effective February 10th, 2023. This will, um, our current code enforcement officer is uh, uh, going to be retiring after 20 years with the township as of May 1st. So we are putting in a trainee um, so for some cross training and then eventually hopefully she will take on the duties of his position. Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. <coughs> Resolution 2023-74 appointing alternate number one to the Board of Adjustment. Resolution of Township Lacey, County of Rochester State, New Jersey, appointing John Downing as alternate number one on the Lacey Township Board of Adjustment to fill the unexpired term of Skip Peters. Said the term expires December 31st of 24. Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-75 authorizing the execution of a shared service agreement with the, ocean, with the County of Ocean for the FAST program. Resolution of Township Lacey, County of Ocean, State of New Jersey, authorizing the execution of an interlocal service agreement with the County of Ocean for the prosecutor's program known as FAST, which is the Fatal Accident Support Team. So if there's a fat fatal accident here in Lacey Township, what happens is, is the county, through this FAST program, assigns officers who are qualified and trained to come in and help us investigate the case. The ca we are reimbursed by the county for this program, and um, we also send officers to other towns as well for the program. Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-76 authorizing an agreement with ARYA properties. Hold on a minute. I'm just doing my next step here. Okay. Resolution attached with Lacey, County of Ocean State, New Jersey authorizing the acceptance and execution and agreement with Our Properties, LLC. This is a new subdivision that is coming into town off of um, Lakes Lakeside Drive East. Part of the agreement with the New Jersey DEP via the CAFR permits is that they have to have an 
recreation component. So they will be putting in a walking pier and walking path all the way out into the Forked River. And part of that is to have some parking. The township owns some property there with a bathhouse down at Yacht Basin Plaza North and South. And we are providing them with um, about five parking spots there to utilize that in accordance with the DEP print. Once that property is built and done, that project for the recreation component does get turned over to the township for us to maintain and take care of. Move it. Second. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 20-23-77 authorizing the execution of a grant agreement. Resolution Township Lacey County of Ocean State in New Jersey authorizing the execution of a grant agreement with the County of Ocean for the Municipal Alliance Program. This is for the next fiscal year, which starts on July 1st, which is the 2024 fiscal year. So we're getting um, Dieter funds in the amount of 12153 the township's cash match in the amount of 3083 and the in-kind, which is basically turning on the lights, the office space, in the amount of $9,114. It all has to balance out on both sides of the um, grant. Motion? Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 20-20, 20, 20, yeah. Resolution 2023-78, awarding a contract for roadside carcass removal. Resolution Township of Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, awarding a contract for roadside deer carcass removal to Kelly Winthrop, LLC. This is, again, on municipal roads, not on county or state-owned roads. Um, if there is a deceased deer, we call this company, and they come in and pick them up for a $39 per deer fee. It doesn't happen that often on municipal roads. It's more on the county or in the state highways. Move it. Second. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mayor McDonald. Yes. Resolution 2023 <laughs> authorizing the release of a performance bond upon a posting of a maintenance bond. Resolution attached to Lacey County, Russia State, New Jersey, authorizing the release of a performance bond posted for the Hebrew Park Pickleball Court Project. So we're going to a maintenance phase on this project now. Move it. Second. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. <clears throat> Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-80 authorizing the release of a performance bond for a road opening permit 4977. Resolution of Township Lacey County, Rochester State, New Jersey, authorizing the release of a site improvement performance guarantee posted by Coastal Construction Group LLC for road opening permit 4977 at 1069 Laurel Boulevard. Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-81 authorizing the release of a performance bond for a road opening permit 4979. Resolution Township Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey authorizing the release of a site improvement performance guarantee posted by Coastal Construction Group LLC for road opening permit 4979 for 1701 Compass Drive. Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-82 authorizing the release of a performance bond for road opening permit 4982. Resolution of Township Lacey, County of Ocean State of New Jersey, authorizing the release of a site improvement performance guarantee posted by Coastal Construction Group LLC for road opening permit 4982 for 1163 East Hickory Drive. Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-83, authorizing release of a, of a performance bond for road opening permit 4983. Resolution of Township Lacey, County of Ocean State of New Jersey, authorizing the release of a site improvement performance guarantee posted by Lacante Masonary Incorporated for road opening permit 4983 for 827 Bow Sprit Point. Okay. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-84, authorizing the transfer of funds. Resolution of Township Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in accordance with the provisions of NJSA 48-4-59. We are transferring $30,000 from buildings and grounds into solid waste. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-85, authorizing the tax collector to refund a homestead rebate for a disabled vet. Resolution of Township Lacey, County of Ocean State of New Jersey, authorizing the tax collectors to refund homestead rebates for disabled veterans. This, uh, the homestead rebates gets um, funded to the township and it would be posted against a, a quarterly tax, but with disabled veterans, obviously they are off the tax rolls. So we are refunding five of the disabled veterans um, refunds for the um, 
homestead rebate program. Mm -hmm. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Caratolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-86 authorizing the tax collector, tax collector to cancel taxes for properties acquired by the township. Resolution of Township Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing the tax collector to cancel taxes due for ta properties acquired by the Township of Lacey. These are in the third phase of the Walters Development Affordable Housing Project. It's Block 1852, Lot 10, Block 1852, Lot 24, Block 1853, Lot 3, Block 1853, Lot 5. Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mr. Caratolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-87 authorizing the refund of deposit limits. Resolution of Township Lacey County Motion State, New Jersey, authorizing a refund of deposits held for the use of municipal facilities. Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald? Yes. Resolution 2023-88, authorizing the payment of township bills. Resolution of Township Lacey County Motion State, New Jersey, authorizing the payment of township bills in the amount of $2,382,994.85. Move it. Second. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor McDonald. Yes. Annual reports. All right. For annual reports, the municipal clerk's office for the year 2022 collected receipts in the amount of $126,392.10. Municipal docs, we collected receipts in the amount of $89,850. For year end for road openings and truck and recycling and parking, we collected a total of hold on, road openings in the amount of $61,595.50. For recycling and tires in the amount of $16,200.40 and for truck parking in the amount of $26,640. The Department of Community Development for the year of 2022 collected receipts in the amount of $874,116.53. Motion to accept the reports is read. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve the caucus meeting minutes from January 12, 2023. Move it. Move it. Second. Second. Aye. All in favor. favor. Yeah. My bad. Tim, you're sleeping at the wheel yeah, here. I have. Motion to approve the township meeting minutes from January 12, 2023. All right. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Motion to approve the raffle license for VFW Post 1018, Lacey AYFL, and Women's Club of Lacey. Move it. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Comments from the committee. Deputy Mayor Kennis. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I've commented it uh, before uh, um, a while ago about how important I, I think that local reporting is. Um, and I came across three articles just uh, this afternoon, um, all pertaining to um, real estate in Ocean County. Um, I don't know if anybody's aware, but Seba um, in Tom's River, that's uh, they negotiated with the DEP. It's approximately 1,200 acres. and. Um, the DEP is, is settled with them that they're going to preserve 1,000 acres and, and develop 250 acres. And, and then they're having a lot of meetings because the, the residents aren't happy with that. Uh, in addition, now the, the Sibagagi is owed $17 million in back taxes. The township lost a tax appeal. Mm -hmm. um, in Brick, the, um, the, uh, the county um, uh, actually stopped the developer, but basically stopped the developer and they bought. Um, open space to, to preserve it at a cost of $8.5 million. And in, and in Jackson, this was all this afternoon, <laughs> and in Jackson, the zoning board- He must not have worked time. <laughs> <laughs> reversed course and approved the synagogue under the threat of a, a religious use uh, lawsuit because the zoning rules were too restrictive. And um, I'm bringing these up, um, as, as most people know, my focus is always on the, on the land use in Lacey Township. And these are three instances all t today, that, um, just how important it is to, uh, you know, that the town is developed properly and, um, you know, there's some foresight that goes, that, that goes into these decisions because they, they have long lasting, um, you know, implications for, for the township. And, um, and again, I've, you know, I've said it a bunch of times and I've been working on it for nine years, but uh, if it makes financial sense, my, my time and energy is, is for the remainder of the, the time that I'm here, my t time and energy is, is best spent trying to move Lacey Township forward and um, hopefully um, build a new municipal complex along with an indoor rec center. Those are my comments. Thank you. Let me get this right. Committee woman, Julia. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Um, first, I just wanted to say that tomorrow is um, our senior luncheon at 12 o'clock down at our new uh, community hall. 
Um, the Municipal Alliance runs that program, and it's a great program for the elders. It's really a nice uh, gathering, and we all usually try to show up and show our faces and uh, talk to them while we're there. Um, I wanted to also say that we have new signs here in our town. If you are down in Weartown and heading back up, um, there's been some new signs put up by our DPW workers. One in particular, his name is Butch Link. He is an artistic man that you cannot believe the work he does. It's, it's really beautiful, really does a nice job. Take the time to look at our new sign that's from entering from Weartown into Lacey, and then I believe our other one is gonna be up here on Lacey Road as you come off the parkway, as far as, I don't know if that's been put up yet. I know the other I one I think has. he's working on that, and okay. I think there's another one that he did with the, um, one of the historical sites. Yes, 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 he did so that. Yeah, the signs are, take take time to notice them. They're, they're really beautiful. He took some time on it. Really nice. They turned out. And um, the other thing I wanted to say is that uh, Mr. Caratola and I went to the community development the other day just to get a tour to see what's in there because a lot of times as a new person I didn't know you know exactly what they all do in there and it, it's it's really unique in the fact of. They work really well together and there's a lot going on in that building. So anybody looking for information instead of on Facebook and Chatter and everywhere else, if they need a question answered about permits or any of that kind of stuff, marriage license, how's that sound? They do everything there. So that's where you go for your information, not out in the public. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Committee Ben Dykoff. Yes, um, interesting that um, both Committee Woman Giuliano and, and Maybe, maybe uh, Deputy Mayor Cannon's brought up land use because it is probably the major part of, of what we try and watch in this township. So um, I had read an article, just like Mr. Kennedy did, about a project in Millstone where the planning board had denied a project of townhomes and affordable housing and it got kicked back to them and basically they had to approve it. So it's not enough to just say no. You have to have a good reason to say no, and even if you say no, you have to say maybe. <laughs> um, the, the interesting part, um, the, the one project in Brick, um, <coughs> the, the, the county and the, and the township had to participate. The county paid the, the, the largest portion, and the municipality paid a small portion. Um, in order for the county to preserve something through the natural trust, the developer has to be willing they can't just come in and they can't even make an offer. The developer has to approach them first. Uh, we tried that in here in town here. We really were hoping to get a positive uh, solution, but it just didn't work out. But uh, we're trying to watch out what we do and we do the best we can. And that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Committee Member Quirtel. Thank you, Mayor. And then just in that line, as my good colleagues up here, um, especially Committee Woman Giuliano said, um, you know, if you have questions, yeah, it's best not to go to the internet. It's best to come right to the source, uh, because uh, I think a lot that comes through our front front doors, and we're all good stewards of, of the of the public trust, and we'll answer all the phones. But uh, sometimes that stems from bad rumors uh, and misinformation. Uh, so it's important to to come to us. And I would agree with Committee Woman Giuliano. Uh, uh, going to community development last Monday and spending a couple hours over there uh, was a good tour. Uh, it's very nuanced what they do. Uh, you saw that uh, I think uh, some of the good folks down there had said it was uh, about $570,000 that they bring into the township, but they're doing the work down there. So, um, you know, it's important. Land use is a big part of what we do. It, it is important. Uh, three of us up here were at the Ocean County Mayor's Association uh, breakfast the other day. We're allowed to do that. Um, it's open to uh, committee people, deputy mayors, and, and council members across the county. Uh, so it's a good information, good place to get information, and uh, we're able to do that over there. I'd like to close comments. Um, people that are on Facebook, uh, department that's I know near and dear to all our hearts here is uh, our recreation department. They're all important, but recreation is looking for people. If you know uh, some young people that want to be a camp counselor, lifeguard, other ancillary support, they're doing good work and taking care of about 500 kids each summer. So mm -hmm. it's a great opportunity to get your feet wet, get a letter of recommendation if you're a young person, uh, learn some responsibility because it's a good, big responsibility taking care of those kids. Go on, call Jim, 693-1100, James Weiland, ask for rec, and, and uh, I'd like to also say thank you to our, our veterans. Without them, we're not sitting here. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you.
Thank you. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll off with this Reese uh, for Good Luck Cemetery. It's, uh, I've always said that the volunteers in this, in this township make this township a great township. And you saw here tonight with the, the Reese and just starting it out. And the I, she's not going to have any problem next year, none whatsoever. And, and, and it's been a privilege for us to help them with that. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Um, and there's an old saying, and it ties into to what we're trying to do up here. It's when you're green, when you're, green, you're growing, you're, when you're ripe, you rot. And I'm talking about land use here. Um, we need I'm to sure continue to grow. Um, but we got to do it strategically, we got to do it smartly. Um, if you look at the census from 2010 to 2020, we, this township grew by about 2,000 people. That's it. The 90s, in the first first decade of this century, those days are over. We'll not see that again. So we're going to grow, but it's going to be very small and very strategic, and that's what we're trying to do. And so, property that is tied up by the township that can <clears throat> generate tax taxes. That and remember, taxes, real estate taxes. We don't get a lot of it. It goes to the schools. 67% of your real estate taxes <coughs> goes to the school. So as when we talk about the new complex, and no decision has been made yet whatsoever, we're still getting information in and trying to make a decision. Uh, Deputy Mayor Kennis and I met last Wednesday, I think it was, for an hour to talk about this. Um, and we're still going forward. But that's what we're trying to do, strategically set ourselves up, not for the next 10 years, but for the next 50 years, because if you look back to those guys, and our counselor here was part of that, they strategically set up the next 50 years to it, and now it's, it's not that time. old. Yeah, it went, it went quick. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we're trying to do, is set up the town for the next 50 years, because what they did makes our job easier right now, okay? Were they perfect? No. Will we be perfect? Absolutely not. But that's what we're trying to do. And that is my comments for tonight. Um, we open the comments from the public. May I, may, may I have something? I sure. Just butt in for a minute there. I just noticed that uh, one of our um, new uh, new hires, oh, let's say right. that, yes. yep. just came in. Uh, Dana Debella, would you uh, come on up here? We, uh, you know, we'd like to see you for a minute <laughs> <laughs> because you didn't hear us. We got to talk about you while you weren't here. So I want to congratulate you. Thank you yes. so much. And we're so proud to have you. And uh, thanks. Thanks for taking on this. I hope I made you guys proud. Yes. You got you got a good teacher, so yes. I yeah. Yes, I got you do. I got one question. How are you gonna drive that truck? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just thrilled to have you uh, jump in on this because you, you know so it's a big much. job and we're glad to have you aboard, you know. And I know you've had the I really appreciate you will. it. And I just think this committee is wonderful. You're all forward thinkers and I feel very comfortable having you as my leadership. And I just want to thank all of you so, from the bottom of my heart. We're, we're glad and to have you. We, we know we know John was a pushover. I love it. Well, right? thank you. Be great. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank, thank you, you, Dana. Thanks, Congratulations. Dana. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, let me open this up to the public. So the public have any comment here this evening? Seeing none, motion to close the floor. <laughs> that was a good time. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we need to do resolution uh, 89. It's a resolution of the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State of New Jersey, authorizing the convening of executive sessions to discuss about matters of real estate. Can Move I have it. a motion? Move it. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Cannon? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mrs. Giuliano? Yes. And Mayor McDonald? Yes, but I need to uh, amend the bill. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, fit, I don't think they're on tonight. Okay. All right, so, so we just need a motion to um, adjourn the meeting. Motion to adjourn. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No further business. That's correct. We say that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we stick it in anyhow. Oh, yeah, we're, we're done. done. All right. All right. Probably tomorrow. <laughs>